Let's go through the steps we need to do to make an existing board file ready for Shape 3D. Open existing board file, start with the slices and let's make sure there's the same number of points on each slice. This one has five points. Moving towards the front of the board, we'll see the next slice has five points, as did the middle, but the front slice here, we'll need to zoom in on it and see, it only has four points. So we need to add a new point in a similar place to the other slices. Moving back to the tail now, we'll check the other slices and we'll find that the tail slice here has only four points. We'll need to zoom in and add a new point to this in a similar place as we did to the others. This will really show benefits in our tail rail later on. Let's save these changes and move forward to the next modifications that we need to do to get the best translation of your BRD files. Now using the program Shape 3DX, let's open the board that we're working on. First thing you notice is some extra slices. Don't worry, it hasn't changed its shape. We'll delete a couple of these. This is not an essential change, but this will just help you be familiar with the shape that you are used to using. Shape 3D puts a slice on the ends of the tail and nose. So we need to give these a little bit of width. This becomes very important when you start to use a machine for cutting your boards. Let's zoom in a little here and see what I've done to the tail. Ideally you're going to make the tail the same shape as what you had before, but the point was in a different position. Notice the slice that you had before as well as the one around the end of the tail. Okay, let's change the width and the nose as well. Let's zoom in on it so you can see what you're doing. And let's just move that point out a couple clicks. Zoom back out, modify your outline so it's the same as before, and let's save this board. Essentially, you should have a correctly translated file of your original board now.